The Division of Plant Industries fruit fly detection and monitoring programs are so important because of the ease and frequency with which fruit flies travel. Following are sections covering fruit fly monitoring and detection, identification, delimiting survey, fruit fly eradication, preventive fruit fly programs, and the Caribbean Fruit Fly Certification Program. How would you like to be a homeowner with fruit trees in your backyard and you go out one morning to pick that special orange or grapefruit off of a tree, bring it inside, cut it open, and there's nothing but rot and maggots inside? This is something that you don't want and don't need, and neither does our industry. Florida's trapping program initially started on April the 6th, 1929, when a grove owner in central Florida went out to his grove, found a tremendous amount of fruit lying on the ground, not knowing what was going on. He called in inspectors, they took samples, sent them away, and it was discovered that medfly was in his grove. This took over two years to eradicate at the cost of $7.5 million. Through the years, we developed different types of traps and also lures for the various economically important fruit flies. One was the McPhail trap devised in 1937. It was a, a trap that used kerosene for a bait and finding that medflies went to kerosene. After that, we came up with different types of pheromone lures and also bait traps and our program really got started in 1997 when we set different criterias throughout the state. We increased traps from about 10 to 12,000 to 56,000 up to 60,000 throughout the state. In order to protect our multi-billion dollar agricultural industry, we had to set up a program that would take care of these economically important fruit flies. Survey specialists are responsible for performing the activities associated with our fruit fly detection program. They are trained to recognize host plants and know the host preferences for our target pests. They place and service traps according to departmental guidelines, perform required trap relocations, and maintain proper trap densities and distribution throughout the state. Primary consideration for trap placement is given to high-risk introduction points such as international ports of entry, areas with potential for illegal fruit introduction such as densely populated areas, airports, and international food markets. Traps are also placed at residential home sites and on primary and secondary roads in rural areas. There are two main traps used in the fruit fly detection program, Jackson traps and multi-lure traps. Different bait mixtures and pheromones are used to attract a variety of targeted flies. Once an appropriate site has been selected, the survey specialist prepares new traps for placement. Traps are placed high enough in host trees to be out of reach of children, livestock, or pets. Traps are serviced every three weeks. The inserts of the Jackson trap are pulled out and examined. If flies are found, the insert is placed in a Ziploc bag, relevant information is recorded, and it is sent to the fruit fly identification laboratory for analysis. Next, the contents of the multi-lure trap are strained, and if flies are found, they are put in a vial of alcohol. The specimens are then sent for laboratory analysis. When traps need rebaiting, the specialist removes existing traps, replacing them with freshly baited traps. In general, traps are relocated every 12 weeks to new sites to ensure widespread coverage. Without this trapping program monitoring what's coming into this state from other countries, our citrus and our vegetable and tropical fruit industry would be devastated. Hello, I'm David Dean with the Florida Department of Agriculture. I'm head of the Fruit Fly Identification Lab in Palmetto, Florida. This lab was established at the end of the last major medfly eradication that took place in Florida in 1998-99. We are here now supporting cooperative fruit fly detection and eradication programs throughout the state, uh, cooperative programs with the United States Department of Agriculture and the Florida Department of Agriculture working together to do as early detection as possible of fruit flies in Florida. In this laboratory we have about 10 to 12 personnel that 52 weeks a year are screening 250,000 
fruit fly traps a year that are sent in here. In a year, we, we screen anywhere from a million and a half to almost three million specimens of fruit flies. One of the things that complicates things for us is that we have a large number of native populations of fruit flies and, and also the fact that we are releasing sterile flies. So at this laboratory, we support Caribbean fruit fly certification program, the general fruit fly detection program, and the sterile release program. And then in the event that a wild fly is detected, then we are supporting what are called emergency detection, delimitation, and eradication programs. After a preliminary examination in Dr. Dean's lab, all suspect fruit flies are sent here to the Gainesville lab for confirmation and further analysis. The identification process is critical to dealing with any new insect introduction into Florida. Because the biologies and host plants of different pests vary, we have to adjust our responses accordingly. So we take great care in the identification process to know exactly which insect we are dealing with and how to respond appropriately. Typically, we see the same insect pests such as Mediterranean fruit fly over and over again. Not infrequently, however, we are confronted with something we have never seen before in Florida. For that reason, we maintain a very large and diverse research and reference collection, the Florida State Collection of Arthropods, to assist us in identifying insects that may arrive from any place in the world. Once we have established a positive identification, we can launch an appropriate response. The first step is to begin a delimitation survey. That is, we establish a dense trapping grid in an 81 square mile area surrounding the detection site that will be monitored for several months. We also assess the immediate area around the detection site for potential host plants and check for infested fruits. If no further flies are found during a time period equal to three life cycles of that fly, we can rest easy and return to our normal trapping activities for that area. If we do find additional flies or infested fruits, then we would proceed to an eradication program.